So that's how icons can be added. As I mentioned, I also wanna tweak this image here a little bit though, and I wanna make it slightly transparent. Now there are two main ways of doing that. And whilst one approach is better than the other, I still wanna show you both here. The first approach, which is typically not recommended, but which you should still know, is that you wrap this image widget with another widget. Now not a widget which is suggested here, but instead we can use this generic wrap with widget refactoring action here. And then we can enter the widget name here manually. In this case, it's the opacity widget, which I wanna use. Now the opacity widget then does not just need a named child argument, but instead it also needs an opacity argument. And indeed this opacity argument is required. It must be set when using this opacity widget. And opacity now takes a number value between 0.0, .0 .0 and 1.0, where 1.0 .0 is fully opaque, so fully visible, and 0.0, .0 is fully transparent, so fully invisible. So if I set this to 0.5 here, for example, you see that now this image has some transparency. If I set it to 0 0.1, this is even clearer to see because now it's almost invisible. So that's one way of setting the transparency of a widget, of the widget that is wrapped by transparency, to be precise. Now this can be useful, but behind the scenes, this is quite performance intensive. Not a huge problem for this basic app here, but typically you should avoid using opacity if you can avoid it. And that's why I'll copy this and then comment it out and re-add it, but now I'll remove this opacity widget here and go back to just having the image asset here and show you an alternative approach. Because whenever you have a widget where you can set a color, there is a better approach available, a better approach than using opacity. And it turns out that for image, you can set a color argument when using this asset constructor function. And this color can be used to apply some transparency to this image. Now for a start, let's set this to colors.red, so to the standard built-in red color, and let's see what that does. And as you see, it changes the color of the image. And that's also good to know. This color argument on the image widget can be used to add an overlay color on top of the image, which sometimes can be exactly the effect you want. But this gets even more powerful if you now apply a transparent color here. And for that here, since I wanna keep my image white, I'll first of all switch to white. And then here we have this transparency slider. And here it's fully opaque if this is at the top. Here at the bottom it would be invisible. And we can now tweak this and maybe go somewhere here so that this first value here is 150. And with this, we now add a white overlay color that has some transparency applied to it. Now this can be set to a const value by adding the const keyword. And if you do that now, you got a white image again, but a slightly transparent image. And of course here you can also play around with that. If you set this to 20, for example, it's almost entirely invisible. If you would set it to 255, which is the maximum value that is allowed here, it would be fully opaque. And here I'll go for 150 which is what I had before, to have a slightly transparent image. And these are some additional styling things that you can do in your app to make it look exactly the way it should look. So for the moment, that's now my finished start screen widget with the image here, with some text and with this outlined button. The next step now is to make sure that this button actually does something when we press it, that it does lead us to a different screen.